From the roar of the crowd to the roar of the engine, this is Pit Pass. Here's your host, Ron Fox. Hello and thanks for joining us for another edition of Pit Pass right here on WHBL. While I love thunderstorms, but they aren't very good when they occur right before or during races, we had some more cancellations this week. Well, let's take a look at what's on this week's show. The King County Raceway had another midweek show. The Fast Track Late Model Northeast Regional Tour made a stop on Thursday. For the past few years, he's been one of the dominant forces on the Asphalt Late Model Tour. But now Will Thomas has taken on a new endeavor. Pit Pass made a trek to PPMS this Saturday. It's the Red Molly Rumble highlights later in the show. On Thursday, the Fast Track Northeast Regional Tour made a stop at McKean County Raceway. And McKean County Raceway was right in the middle of the McKean County Fair. How exciting it was to be able to go to a fair and a race at the same time. Well, let's take a look at some highlights from a night at the fair from Thursday evening. 39 teams attempted to make the 26 cars starting grid. The field was brought to the green by the 94 of Bryce Davis and Ed Carley in the 28 machine. 14-year-old Lauren Longbreak in the blue 27 and three-time regional champion Max Blair in the 111 made up row two. While Carley pulled away to the early lead, Blair had half of a car length on Longbreak going into turn three. She battled back on the inside as Blair was right on the rear bumper of Davis. Going into turn one, Blair dives under Davis but can't pull off the pass. Two laps later, we have this battle for fifth between number four, Chad Rollman, 14, Dan Angelicchio, the one of Mike Pegger Jr., and Mike Lockard in the 38. Up front, Davis starts to reel in Carly off of turn four with Blair still riding in the third spot. Early on, we have a caution. Carly chooses to restart on the outside of Davis, who slams the door on long break as they get up to speed. Going through one and two, she is able to power by Blair and sets her sights on Davis going down the back stretch. She then dives under the 94. Off of the turn, she gains a slight advantage over Davis. Then as they enter turn one, she makes it stick and is able to withstand the challenge of Davis. Off of two, Davis pulls door to door with long break yet she is able to maintain the position going through three and four. Another yellow flies, but long break does not get off to a good start. Both Davis and Blair shuffle her back, but Pegger slows stacking up the field. He would retire for the evening. So we try again. This time long break gets a better start, but Blair is able to work to her outside to take over second place behind Carly. Briefly, there is a four wide battle for the fourth spot. Angelicchio dives under Davis in turn three while Lockard nearly goes off the banking and loses several positions. Three laps later, Blair shoots to the bottom of turns three and four and takes over the lead, while Carly has to contend with Angelicchio, who has moved up to third. A few laps later, Long Break and Davis vie for the fourth spot. There is contact, which enables the 12 of Ryan Montgomery to gain two positions. At the head of the field, Blair has to contend with some heavy traffic as we near the end of the 25 lap feature. While Blair enjoyed a comfortable lead, Davis and Angelicchio duked it out for second place. Angelicchio would take the spot with a lap to go, but it would be Max Blair cruising to his eighth tour win of the season and 20th of his career. So Max, congratulations on your win. When you get in the front, you seem to dominate the race always, but in this case, it took you a while to get up front. Yeah, it was pretty tough to restart on the bottom of the racetrack tonight. The top was just the fastest way around, especially early in the race, and uh, got stuck on the bottom for the first couple of restarts, and I actually didn't feel like I was that good, and then we finally caught a break. I was in fourth, and Yella come out and let me start on the top, and everything just went my way on that restart, and I got the second, and then me and Carly raced for the win. And you got slowed down by lap traffic. Yeah, lap traffic was pretty crazy there for a while, uh, just cars racing everywhere. There, it, it was pretty crazy. Uh, you had a speed week that involved a lot of blowing of engines? Yeah, uh, we blew two motors in six days, literally back-to-back -back days. We blew one at Eldora on Saturday, and then we blew one at, again at Expo the first first day of speed week. So it was a rough week. We ended up winning two races up here, and 
at uh, Raceway 7 on Thursday and Friday. So, you know, that helped, but the, uh, the bad still outweighed the good, that's for sure. We also caught up with second place finisher Dan Angelicchio, who has yet to win a tour event this year. So Dan, congratulations, you came in second again. Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Yeah, it's, uh, it's getting kind of tough finishing second. It's our, it's our fifth place second uh, in the tour series and our seventh place second overall in the season. Uh, we have one win, but it's getting tough finishing second. I've, you know, especially I've finished second to Max, I think four times now, so it's getting tough. Now you're, ra you're racing dirt now, but you used to race asphalt. I did. I raced asphalt for I think it was three years, and uh, which actually taught me a lot for dirt racing. But uh, I think I like dirt racing a little better than asphalt. I don't, I don't know if I would go back, uh, but I enjoy I enjoy the dirt a lot more. It, it taught, like I said, it taught me a lot, uh, especially when it gets slick out. Kind of, it's kind of like driving an asphalt car, so I brought that over. And, I, and you see that in a bunch of guys that come over from the asphalt, they kind of you know succeed in it. Following Blair and Angelico across the line were Bryce Davis. Ed Carley and Ryan Montgomery. Well, once again, Max Blair is victorious in the fast track late models at McKean County Raceway. I think every time I've been at the track, he has won the fast track portion of the program. I thought it was very well orchestrated, the way they have the races right during the fair, so that people who don't usually go to races could go from the fair into the stands and have a very exciting evening. Well, let's take a look at what's coming up next on Pit Pass. Highlights from the Red Molly Rumble from PPMS when we return. When you think golf carts, think Jake's Custom Golf Carts. With over 300 stock and lifted carts at their shop, you'll find the cart you need or have Jake's build one to your specs. Custom airbrushing, lift kits, sport shifters, rear seats. You name it with the expertise and craftsmanship people have come to expect from Jake's. Come see for yourself why Jake's is the nation's premier golf cart provider. Jake's Golf Carts, Route 522 McVeigh Town. Online at jakesgolfcarts.com. 